So our next question on the list comes is another merged one. It comes from Filter Green for All and also from FAAT in France. So Myrtle, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, there's increased concern over police brutality and human rights violations by law enforcement across the world. What work is UN Odyssey undertaking to ensure the police act ethically and respect human rights and dignity? Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, as I mentioned before, we do have a we do have a, a part of our organization that specifically focuses on working with police. So we have specific programs where we are looking, for example, at revising legislation, revising internal systems, and, and working with police to reform. And, and all, all of that you know, within the norms and standards of the UN, including there's a UN code of conduct for law enforcement officials and basic principles the use of force and firearms, so we, we implement those. Those are quite standard parts of our work. Um, we, we, it, just as an example of, of what we've done recently in the police area, we've worked with Ecuador uh, on, on some overhaul of legislation. We've worked with the World High Police on, on draft regulations within their, their police force uh, uh, related to these issues. Um, all we provide strategic advice and, and organizational advice you know, to, to some police departments, even if we're not uh, working with them, you know, on, on, on whole, whole scale programs. Um, but always with human rights based, inclusive, and representative policing and gender sensitive. Those are those are principles also within our, our program that we have. We have e-learning tools that we've developed in this area that can be shared quite widely and have been used quite widely around the world. Um, and one of the areas that we're focusing on also is, is you know, very specific parts of policing, like interviewing, for example. Um, I mean, how to interview suspects, victims, witnesses, who obviously need to be treated differently and also treated with certain care, um, and moving away from a um, you know, confessions-based type uh, operation to, to more of a fact-finding and type of operation, and, and, and that sometimes requires change in cultures within departments or even specific parts of departments. So, so um, just some of the community-oriented policing, I'll also mention, so some of the ways that we are trying to address those issues. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Unleash the plant for everybody, not hemp, not medicine, dahil, 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 dahil.